transcended here. All right, guys. So in this video, let's talk about uh, precipitation reactions. Okay. So let's say you have uh, sodium sulfite, which is, uh, of course, soluble, reacting with uh, nickel sulfate. So all these are soluble. Okay, so we use aqua states to denote salts that are soluble. Okay, so what will be the products of this reaction? So sodium is going to react with sulfate, and the sulfide, on the other hand, is going to react with the nickel. Okay, so let's try to write the products of this reaction. So we're going to have sodium reacting with uh, the sulfate. Okay, now the charge of sulfate is 2 minus. The charge of sodium is in group 1, it's positive. So they are in the ratio of 1 to 2. So the 2 which is the charge for the sulfate is going to be a subscript of the sodium. So the product is going to be sodium 2 sulfate. Okay. So in the other displacement, we have sulfide reacting with uh, the nickel. So we have sulfate reacting with nickel. Okay. So nickel has got a charge of 2. Then sulfide has got a charge of 2 minus. So whenever the charges of um, the elements are the same, we expect that they are going to be in the ratio of 1 to 1. So therefore, the product is going to be nickel sulfide. Okay. So what are the states of these products? So if you've not stop, if you've not watched a video on solubility rules, do that. If you know the solubility rules, well and good. Let's try to move on now. So if you look at sodium sulfate, we are aware that all group one salts are soluble. So this is going to be an aqua state. Now, sulfide, all the sulfide salts are going to be insoluble, with the exceptions of group one, nitrate, and also nitrate. So in this case, this is insoluble, so put solid state. Okay, so this type of a reaction is what you call a precipitation reaction, where the soluble salts react to give us an insoluble salt. Okay, so whenever they ask you to write an ionic equation of such a reaction, how do you go about it? Okay, so in summary, the, uh, the net ionic equation of such a reaction, without even wasting time, all you need to know that what is going to be produced is uh, the precipitate, which is uh, the, the insoluble salt. So in this case, it's nitric sulfide. Okay, so the state is solid. So what are its ions? So what is combining? So what is combining is uh, the nitric there. Okay, what is it combining with? It's combining with the sulfide. Now, what are their charges? So here it's 2 minus, there is 2 plus. So this is in aqua, these are in aqua states, indicating that they are soluble. So this is the net ionic equation of this precipitation reaction. Okay. Now, let's say you have aluminium nitrate. So aluminum 3 nitrate reacting with sodium 3 phosphate. Okay. So are these soluble or they are insoluble? So nitrates, all nitrates are soluble. So this is a soluble salt. Even this one is soluble because it's nitrate. It's, it's, so it's having group 1 element which is sodium there. Okay, so what products are we going to have? So it's a double displacement reaction. So aluminium is going to react with a phosphate there. So aluminium in this case, it's 3 plus. It has got a charge of 3 plus. We can tell by the subscript of uh, the nitrate there. So then we also have it reacting with uh, the phosphate. So the charge is also 3 minus. In case you don't know, you just look at the... Uh, the ratio in which it is reacting with the other one. So that 3 there can tell us that 
that is the charge of uh, the phosphate. Okay, so since they are in the they are adding the same charges, so they are going to be reacting or combining in the same ratio. So it's going to be aluminium phosphate. Okay, like that. So then in the other displacement, what are we having? So remember we said aluminium is combining with uh, the phosphate. So we expect that the nitrate is going to combine with the sodium. Okay, so we know that the nitrate, its charge is minus. Then sodium, its charge is a positive. Okay, so what are we going to have? We are going to have plus sodium nitrate. So we are going to be in the ratio of 1 to 1. So we we'll just maintain it as it is. Okay, so now if you ask yourself, is this a balanced chemical equation or it's not balanced? Okay, so on the left we've got three sodium atoms. So I'm going to show that. So I'll put a three there. So this means that there are three, which is balanced. Then for the nitrates as well, which we have three, it's a balanced chemical equation. So where are we going to put, uh, what are the states? So I'll start with the first uh, product. So aluminum phosphate. So we said all phosphates are insoluble with exceptions of group 1 nitrates as well as ammonium salts. So aluminium phosphate is insoluble. So it's a precipitate in this case. So all nitrates are soluble. So this is in aqua state. Okay, so what is going to be the net ionic equation of this reaction? So I said what is produced in a net ionic equation is going to be what? We are going to show the precipitate, okay, which is aluminium phosphate in solid state. So what reacted to give us that? So it's aluminium and the, the phosphate. So aluminium, the charge in this case, aluminium that was involved is aluminium 3 because of that subscript there. Reacting with what? The phosphate, which also has got a charge of 3 minus there. Yeah. So all these are supposed to be in aqua states. So that is the net ionic equation in such a case. Okay. Now let's say you have calcium hydroxide reacting with sodium sulfate. So all these are soluble salts. So we said Hydroxides are mostly insoluble with an exception of group 1 elements, ammonia, nitrates, and badium with, uh, carb with calcium as well. So this is soluble. That is also soluble. So we want to predict the products. Okay. So a double decomposition reaction, calcium will combine with a sulfate. So calcium has got a charge of 2 plus. Sulfate has got a charge of 2 minus. So since the magnitude of the charges are the same, they are going to be in the ratio of 1 to 1. So it will just be calcium sulfate. Then the other product, we are adding hydroxide reacting with uh, the sodium. So hydroxide, the charge is negative. Then sodium, the charge is uh, a positive. So even these are in the ratio of 1 to 1. So it's just sodium hydroxide. Okay, so now, is this equation balanced or it's not balanced? Okay, so we have got two sodium atoms on the reactant side, so we expect to have the same here. So that applies to the hydroxide as well. So this is now a balanced chemical equation. So we say that all sulfates are soluble with an exception of um, Kabale sulfates. Calcium, barium, and red. So therefore, this one is insoluble. Then sodium hydroxide. So we said all group one salts is going to give give, you, give us what? A soluble hydroxide. Okay. So now, what is going to be our net ionic equation? So what we are saying is what we are going to have is the precipitate being the product. Okay, so what what are its ions? So I have calcium, which comes with a charge of two plus, with sulfate, which comes with a charge of two minus. 
So all these are in aqua states, giving us that. So these are what we call precipitation reactions. And this is how you get to predict their ionic equations and also balancing them. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.